I received the most wonderful letter from JL this week and I wanted to share it with you. I don't know about you, but normally when I receive letters from JL, they, they follow a theme. They blame other people for their mistakes. They ask for money. They want you to stand up in court and say how wonderful they are, even if you don't really know them. But this letter, this letter is just a wonderful one that I wanted to share. This letter is written by a man named Danny who said how Jesus redeemed the heart of a killer. His story in Murfreesboro 2016, how he was arrested by the Violent Crimes Division and put away, and as he writes in his pamphlet, all the things he subsided on, all the anger and frustration and sin and everything else, but, but jail has a way of humbling you. Now he wants his story shared, and I actually want to share his story because it is so blessed and so different. In a world that needs some good news, here's a story of a man who says, I, I can't live on guilt and anger and shame. I need to live in Christ. And now as an ordained minister, he's going around and preaching the gospel in jails to criminals like himself, but saved by Christ. Psalm 135 for today, praise the Lord. Over and over and over again in Psalm 135, it says, praise the Lord for his stories of redemption, his stories of release, his stories of taking people like Danny, like you, like me, and making them into something. This world that oh, so much negativity, so much yelling, so much frustration, so much ang anger, we need the story of the gospel. And I want to share with you breaking news from a man who takes his money to make little pamphlets to share his message with fun little emojis. Look at all the things that Danny has done and all the things he needed. And to sign off with this message, doing life with Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for what he's done with Danny, done with you, done with me. In all these difficult times, praise the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever.